Hey everyone, welcome to video 18-4B. In this video we're going to be talking about working still with spheres and volumes but also with some composite figures put together. So in example 2 we have the volume of the composite figure that you can see is made up of a cone on the right hand side and a hemisphere on the left hand side. So we need to figure out what is the radius of both of these. Notice again the cone is taking up the entire hemisphere so the radius of both um, is going to be the same. So first we'll find the height of the cone and to do that we're going to work with the right triangle that we have marked off here with the height coming down. Now it's not really down, it's more from the right to the left but it's still from the apex down to the base or over to the base. So just using Pythagorean theorem here, we know we have h squared plus 5 squared, one of the legs, is going to equal the hypotenuse, 13 squared. So that's h squared plus 25 equals 169. And then doing some subtraction, h squared is 144 and h is 12. So that is going to give us the um, height of the cone. Then we're going to use that height to find the volume of the cone. The cone has the same radius as the hemisphere as we know, and so that's going to be 5 as well. So the volume is going to be 1 3rd pi r, which is 5 squared, times 12. And simplifying that out, we have 25 times 12 is 300. A third of that is 100. So 100 pi, or if we round 314.159 cubic centimeters. Now to that, to find the total volume, we need to add the volume of the hemisphere. So that's back here in step one. The volume of the hemisphere is actually, instead of four-thirds, which is the whole sphere, we're just going to do two-thirds pi r cubed. So in this case, again, the radius, which is five, and then cubit. And that is going to give me approximately 261.799 cubic centimeters. So to find the total volume, we're going to add that number. Volume of the hemisphere, 261.799. Plus the volume of the cone that we know is 314.159. Again, pardon my very messy writing. Let's see what we can do to round that to the nearest cubic centimeter, as we were told in the problem, and that's going to be 576. So that takes us to the end of this composite problem. Let's see what we can do with the your turn problem at the bottom, numbers 6 and 7, or number 6, excuse me. In this composite figure, we have a cylinder with a hemispherical hole in the top, we're told. Notice that the value that is centered around uh, the middle of that hemisphere is again going to be representing your diameter so be careful with that but notice just like with the composite problem that we just did the radius of the hemisphere is exactly the same as the radius of the cylinder so see what you can do working with that okay all right i will see you tomorrow oh one other thing sorry <laughs> about this this is really important. That means um, in the your turn problem, it says the hemisphere is tangent to the base of the cylinder. That means that it touches the bottom. So keep that in mind as you're trying to calculate um, things, the dimensions of the cylinder, if that'll help you. Okay. Um, yeah. So I'll see you guys tomorrow. Bye.